In these tutorials, we're going to run through a couple of the basic RED workflows. Firstly, looking at preparing and transcoding RED footage for Final Cut Pro using the Log and Transfer tool. RED 1 is capable of producing footage at up to 4K in various frame rates, so the workflows vary depending on the post-production requirements. Here, we are looking at material shot for UK television in 4K 16x9 format at 25 frames per second. In order to complete these transfers, you will need to go to the RED website and download and install the Final Cut Pro Log and Transfer plugin. This is freely available from the RED website. Once installed, you will have everything you need to transfer your footage. First, let's have a look at the folder and file structure the RED produces. Inside each folder, you will notice five files. The first is the R3D file, which is the actual RED media and then there are four QuickTime proxy files which offer four size options. It's important that you retain the file structure in order to use the transfer tools. It's also important in some workflows to retain the original file names as you may need to refer back to the 4K files for conforming. However, for these workflows, it's assumed that the transcoded QuickTime files will become the master files. We recommend you back up before beginning this transfer process. Since we need an HD master, we're just going to use the 1080i 422HQ Easy Setup as a basis, but we can then modify our sequence settings accordingly. Here we can just go in and modify those settings. Uh, if you prefer to work in 422HQ, you can. I prefer 4444 for red footage, so we'll select that. You can also set the field dominance here to be none for progressive or upper if you uh, need to work in interlaced. Once you've got your settings how you want them, just click OK and your project is set up and ready to go. Once you've named and saved your project, open the Log and Transfer tool and navigate to the folder containing your red files. This will then populate the Log and Transfer tool with your clips. You can use this player window to play back each of your files. And you can also make some fairly basic colour temperature adjustments. If I switch this to tungsten, you'll see that all of the clips change. I prefer to do these changes when I'm grading, so I'm going to put this back to as shot. To select the transcoding preset, go to the preferences tab and you'll see the red plug in there. 4444 selected here. You can also select 442HQ or a couple of other presets there. You can also add real names, clip names and make some notes. OK, I'm just going to drop one of these files across here so that you can see it transcoding. This will create a 2K QuickTime file. It's not possible to automatically resize to HD using this method. Once that's done, the clip appears in your project. You can see here the frame size is 2K and not 1920, 1080, and you can see there the 444 codec that we used. You can play these clips then in Final Cut and edit them onto a timeline. Um, this is an HD timeline, so it puts an automatic resize on the clips. And since we shot in 16x9, we don't have to worry about any aspect ratio changes or stretching the clips at all. So that's the basics of the Final Cut Pro Log and Transfer tool when transcoding your red footage. <laughs>